Hello, we are I Killed the Prom Queen and you are watching pitcam.tv. Hey, I'm Monica with Pitcam and I'm here with I Killed the Prom Queen. Hey guys. Hello. What's up? Hello. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Shane from the Ice Bears. <laughs> I'm Jonah. Ben. <laughs> Jamie. Kevin. So what's it like being on Never Say Die Tour? Don't look at me. <laughs> oh my God, you did this whole thing. Nah, it's really good. It's a really good experience. There's a lot of good bands and friends on the tour too, so it's a lot of fun. Good shows and stuff and having lots of fun. <laughs> Have you guys been received? Well, I was received last week by my girlfriend, but that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. um, it's been good. We've we've had like better responses in some places than others. We had a really good show in London. The first two shows were really cool in Germany, in uh, Wiesbaden and Cologne. Actually, the, all the German shows have been really good. So that's a one up for you guys. I spent. Do you, do, you, do you have the impression that your uh, fans have stayed with you from before you broke up? Um, yeah, we've seen some old fans, you know, wearing some really old T-shirts, yeah. and I have no idea how they got them from our mail order, I guess. Uh -huh. um, and then we've met a lot of people that hadn't really heard the band or had heard of the band but never got a chance to see us. Mm. Some people said they've been waiting six, seven years yeah. to see us, so it's really nice that they finally came out. Where do you have the bigger fan base, here or back home? Um, I'd say back home. Yeah. yeah, I mean we've been here uh, last year for some festivals, so we're working working our way into Europe a little more. Um, and next year when the new record comes out, we'll be touring here a lot more. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can build build up a nice fan base here. Cool. Um, you guys have been through a lot of lineup changes. Um, do you <laughs> no. <laughs> do you Sorry, do you finally have a stable one? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, and <laughs> take me to the pizza house. I'm out of here. <laughs> It's Mike. You're holding it, dude. You got the power. Jamie's really good. What yeah, what's it? I also <laughs> enjoy having Ben and Shane in the band. Yeah. We're new as well. What about us? Fuck. <laughs> Is it scary being the new singer? You know, the whole line of singers? Uh, no, nah, because I've been in the band longer than most of them. <laughs> <laughs> People just don't realise that. He's been in the band for... You know, three times longer than the singer everyone relates to yeah. the band. So he was only in it for a year. He just happened to be on the most known album. This guy. Ice Bears. <laughs> Ice Bears. <laughs> um, Jonah, you've had a lot of on your plate for the last five years. Um, is it a relief to finally just being, being able to put all your energy into Prom Queen? Um, yeah, in some ways it's really good. You know, Prom Queen's been my band for a long time and uh, been my biggest passion I think out of all of the bands I've worked with um, relief I don't know is the right word because I'm probably busier now than I have been um, in the past few years because I've been helping manage the band um, from time to time and basically yeah just um, trying to come up with some cool plans for us to do and you know these guys have all been really awesome especially with writing the new album um, Kevin and I wrote a lot of music. Jamie wrote some songs, and then Ben had just joined the band right as we began to write the new album. Mm -hmm. um, so everyone was way more involved with this album than in the past, which was really cool and helpful. Mm -hmm. and I yeah, think it took you quite a while to get it finished. Huh? Yeah, that was partly because of my involvement with my other bands. Um, Kevin and Ben are both in another band called Entrenches as well, um, and our former drummer JJ was very busy with these nuts. And so we, we'd written little bits and pieces over a long amount of time and it wasn't until earlier this year that we actually managed to get together and mm. sit in a studio for a couple of months and really write mm. seriously. Um, you chose to go back to Frederick Nostrum to have this one produced. Um, why is that? I'll let Jonah. Okay. <laughs> I was just looking at the butthole who keeps interrupting me. <laughs> um, Don't look at the butthole, it's cheating. Dude, it's staring at me. Look at the fucking anus hole on that monster. You can beep that out, right? 
Um, we chose Frederick because we, we worked with him on our last album, Music for the Recently Deceased. And he's a great producer. He's a really good friend of ours. We, we all feel like we work well with him. Um, Shane's recorded with him once previously as well with his old band Confession. So it was sort of a mixture of, you know, knowing that we'd get a really great result with Fred and also knowing that we'd be super comfortable working with him on the new songs. Um, Having him tease us all yeah, the time. He teases a lot. He's a big tease. In what way? Um, calls us shit and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you could play that calls riff again, boys. not shit. Yeah. What does he call you? Anal glitter. He called me anal glitter yeah. for six oh, straight cool. weeks. Used to wake him up every morning. Where'd that come from? Stuff. Well, um, it's a long that. line of <laughs> nicknames that I probably shouldn't get into. <laughs> yeah. We'll just leave it at I was called anal glitter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, for that, way that too long. literal thing. No, he didn't have no glitter. I don't There's have things. glitter in my butthole. It was no. like I'm sure it is quite shiny. That's probably a perfect butthole, but... It's, I've never looked at it. it. That's all. It's probably fantastic. Yeah. But yeah, Henrik was good too. He was helping us record as well. He works with Frederick. And yeah, they're both real great dudes. It's real comfortable and stuff. Mm. And yeah, wouldn't change it. It's come out real good. What can we expect from this one as far as the sound goes compared to the previous two? I don't know. It's a bit faster, would you say? Well, it's got nothing it's busier, to do with the sound, but there's less, tempo, uh, <laughs> less, I don't know, all the fat's been trimmed, I think, um, from the last one, so the band's got better music-wise and sort of gone, hey, this is shit, this is shit, let's not put them in the song more than we did with the other one. Um, just, yeah, hopefully it's still relevant to the style that we're playing these days, but, uh, you know, go Bears. <laughs> you weren't even there, dog. Yeah, you didn't even come. <laughs> you gave me the clacker. <laughs> um, I heard some people um, say that your this whole Gothenburg sound sort of sets you apart a little bit from a lot of the other metal bands. Do you feel the same way? It would be like the Euro metal would be different than everything that comes out of America that's pretty popular now. Mm. I think like you don't see as many people listening to... Well, commercially, is like in flames and stuff like that, which is the Euro metal. You've got more of like fucking, I don't know, American keyboard moshy bands and stuff like that that, you know, do their thing that are real popular at the moment and stuff. So I think that's what's different about it. Yeah, we've always been really big fans of the, the Gothenburg sound and a lot of Swedish, Scandinavian bands. Um, but we kind of try and mix that with other influence as well, which maybe is why people think we're, we're a bit different sounding. Mm. Those bands just sound like the, the Gothenburg sound and American bands have their own really identifiable kind of sound and brand and we kind of mix a bit of those with our own flavor and I guess that's how we come up with what we do. Mm. So who's been writing the lyrics for this one? Uh, Kev. I wrote all of them. <laughs> no, Kev, Kev, no, Kev wrote 14 songs in three <laughs> weeks. He did really, really well. I'm also wearing a beanie right now. With a pom-pom. <laughs> a couple of us wrote the lyrics on this album. Jamie wrote most of them. Um, and then when it kind of came to crunch time and we were running out of some time, I wrote a few lyrics here and there. And even Ben wrote some. Ben has sings in Kev's other band, as I mentioned. So, yeah, we've got... A couple of very talented guys in the van. And theme wise? What about the rest? Theme wise, what can we expect there? Lyrically? It's about mystic animals who are gods. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. There no, there Somehow is. Somehow I. No, there really is. There's a song. Can I say the word of what it is? Yeah. yeah you can called, say whatever you like. It's called Deer God. There's a song about a deer god, like a literal deer god who has magical hooves. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking. Why is everyone fucking no, laughing? No, yeah, no, it's like, yeah. serious. Like they yell butthole, but they're like, can I say about the mystical animals? <laughs> <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Buttholes <laughs> more common than deer. mystic yeah. animals, that's deer for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, it's oh Lyri dear God. Lyrically, mystic. the record, I just wanted it to be super positive and just, yeah, just have a, a general sort of uplifting kind of message. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we kind of wanted to do something a little different than the whole like screaming whore and slut and breakdowns, which is pretty popular there's, right now. There's none of that. Um, we have a song about animal rights as well, since we're all vegan and vegetarian. And that's a first for us. We've never done anything like that before. And I think the song's pretty cool, powerful lyrically. Is there a release date set? Um, there is, but I don't know what it is yet. Um, we're, we're looking at like a... February, March release for next year, 2014. Mm. 
and basically we'll be touring full time from that date onwards. Okay, so we can expect a comprehensive Europe European tour as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Sounds good. Um, I'll let you guys have the last word. Anything you want to say to your German fans? Maybe not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't say butthole, don't say butthole, don't say butthole. <laughs> Got butthole in the mind. I'm sorry, you can move on. It's just about buttholes. <laughs> it's um, yeah, I guess um, if you get a chance, check out the new record once it's out. We'll probably be streaming some songs in the next few months, maybe have a video out. Keep an open mind, check us out. We'll be back here early next summer. Yeah, I think, yeah, April, May, sometime will be the next time we're back in Europe. Go Bears. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Berlin Ice Bears, dog. Thanks a lot.